What is up everybody, Steve Daria here. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to make this video. It's a uh, post that I put on our website as well, creating real estate solutions. And uh, I wanna preface this first and foremost by telling you guys that I am a realtor. I am a licensed real estate broker as well in the state of Florida. So a lot of this that I'm gonna discuss today <clears throat> um, really comes from personal experience of being in the business. Now we are real estate investors and we buy real estate. We pay cash for properties. So if you guys do have a property that you want us to take a look at and get you guys an offer, description below has our uh, link to our website. And then you simply just fill out some basic information. We'll give you guys a call and then we'll talk further about your property. Uh, hopefully meet you guys at the property. And uh, again, we're local home buyers here. You're not dealing with a big institutional investor in any sense. It's us, family owned, family run. <clears throat> and uh, our goal is to buy these properties. A lot of them will fix them up and flip them. Um, or we'll buy them, fix them up and get renters in place. And um, and that's it. So I want to talk about the uh, <clears throat> several reasons why you would not want to list your property. Uh, for sale in the Fort Myers area or anywhere else throughout Southwest Florida. We are buying real estate throughout Southwest Florida, Lee, Collier, and Charlotte. And um, <clears throat> that's what we do. So uh, for the first reason why you should not list your home is, or it could be a severe pain in the ass, is preparing your house. So when we used to list properties, we would have to go meet with the owner and just talk about all the things that they should do to make their house more sellable. So this could include uh, especially curb appeal, cleaning up the landscaping, painting the outside of the property, uh, cleaning up any debris or trash or whatever the case is. And then inside the property, this is um, cleaning or replacing carpet, is cleaning, deep cleaning the house, getting it clutter free, <clears throat> painting the inside of the house, replacing appliances, replacing cabinetry, doing certain renovations, um, just, just ultimately getting the house um, into a more sellable condition because that's how uh, your traditional retail buyer that's coming through your house, they want to look at the house, they want to sm it, to, it to smell clean, not cluttered, they want it turnkey so they can go in, move their furniture in right away and buy your property. So there's a lot of work that has to go into a lot of properties and if your property has a lot of uh, deferred maintenance, then um, it may make sense to sell to cash buyers like us where we handle all of that. The next thing is preparing your house every day. I can tell you even selling our own properties that we've lived in, you know, making sure that the house is clean every day, making sure that the counters are cleaned up, the bathrooms are clean, make sure the house smells good. If you have pets, removing pets for any showing. So basically you don't know when a showing is gonna happen and you don't necessarily want a 24 hour notice for another realtor to show your property because you want it as easy as possible to show. So you're gonna to have to deal with some of the headaches of making sure that the beds are made, the place is clean, animals are removed from the property to give the best experience for that new uh, buyer. Uh, the next thing is you're gonna have countless strangers coming in and out of your property. Um, and this is not even just your uh, your retail buyers. I mean, if you're priced well and the property looks good on uh, MLS with the photos and everything else, you still have the real estate agent listing your property. They're probably going to do a caravan with all of their real estate agents in their office coming through your house. Then you got your photographer. You got when you're in contract, you got um, an appraiser from the bank. You got a survey company. And then you got your buyer, <coughs> your end buyer, who's probably gonna wanna access your property multiple times because odds are they're excited, they wanna do measurements and so forth. You got your home inspector or home inspectors, a lot of times it's your general inspection. Sometimes you're gonna have your uh, uh, sewer um, or your septic tank checked out. Uh, some people have a termite inspector, mold, radon, the list goes on. So there's a lot of people that are gonna be coming through your property a lot of times. Uh, and that's not to mention every single buyer that's gonna come through your property as well. I mean, uh, it could be a dozen buyers, it could be 50 buyers, you know, and you have just random people coming through your property as well. The next thing is when you list your property, everybody is gonna know about it. A lot of times, 
<laughs> home sellers just don't want their neighbors because they're gonna maybe upset their neighbors or whatever the case is by them selling and it could be a little weird so there's really no discretion when you list your property because when you hire a real estate agent or broker you know they they need to get it out to the masses because they want to ensure that they get enough people going through that property and hopefully sell their property because they work on a contingency basis you know they get paid when the uh, the actual transaction occurs uh, the next thing is you don't know when it will sell if ever so you could be listed on the market for six months seven months eight months you just don't know when it's gonna happen dealing with cash buyers like us um, you know assuming we make an offer then you're gonna know hey in 15 days we're done we're closed we're out or you know maybe you need a little bit more time maybe you need three months to close or whatever the case is so we can work with you there as well and you'll know exactly when you can um, expect cash in your pocket um, you'll next thing is you'll likely have repair requests when you're in contract um, depending on the contract you might even be obligated for repairs to your property up to a certain price point and uh, so when they do their home inspection you might be required to fix a leaky toilet fix the roof I mean there the list can go on and on and depending on your contract your buyer could uh, back out for those repair requests when we buy properties we do have in many cases a small window for an inspection um, usually two to three days and um, a lot of in uh, virtually every case we're not going to come back and ask you to repair anything on your property and that leads me into my next thing is a lot of buyers will ask for a repair credit and a lot of sellers just don't want to do the repairs so they'll agree to a credit but a lot of times these buyers have to deal with the headache of a repair so they're going to build in more of a headache fee because they have to hire the contractor to deal with those repairs on the property um, another thing too is buyers um, <clears throat> many times will request that the sellers pay their closing costs and a lot of times you'll see this in contracts that um, seller agrees to pay 3.5% uh, toward the buyer's close, uh, prepaids and or closing costs because let's face it this day and age a lot of people do not have a whole lot of money in their bank accounts uh, they're lucky to have three and a half or five percent for the down payment and a lot of people don't have the money for their closing costs their closing costs can be related to their mortgage prepaids because a lot of times your mortgage company wants you to prepay for homeowners insurance uh, a certain amount for real estate taxes as well because the bank wants to protect themselves and a lot of times the buyers are requesting for you to pay those we never ask for that because we're paying cash for the property uh, if you list your home you will uh, be obligated to pay uh, usually pretty big commissions I mean uh, you're talking anywhere from five to seven to eight percent depending on the property um, but you know six percent on three hundred thousand dollars is eighteen thousand dollars that you pay in commissions <clears throat> there are no commissions at all in our transactions, so you won't have to worry about that. Um, if you list your home, depending on how you guys negotiate it, you might have to pay the title fees, including title insurance as well. And we actually pay for that, so you're not going to be obligated for any title fees. Um, when you list your home, you usually get stuck in a contract in a listing agreement and um, and rightfully so you know when a real estate agent takes on your property usually a good agent is going to spend the money on a photographer they're gonna spend money on um, mail campaigns they're gonna spend money on Google ads and Facebook ads and all the marketing costs that they have to do in order to generate um, as much action they should be doing that anyway but you guys are locked into those contracts so if you want to cancel that contract usually there's a cancellation fee and a lot of times they're going to require you guys to pay all those marketing costs assuming they can back it up with receipts and um, and let's say you guys run across your own buyer for the property odds are they're not going to allow you to get off the hook not paying a commission even if you procure your own buyer they're going to require you guys to pay uh, that commission um, <clears throat> the next thing too is you'll likely deal with a finance buyer and finance buyers 
Um, you know, so basically when somebody has a pre-approval letter, that is to me garbage because um, I could call my lender right now and say, hey, can you call this buyer and get them pre-approved as quickly as possible and send me a letter? And they'll send me a letter within 10, 15 minutes of talking to the prospective buyer. And basically they're asking questions like, what do you think your credit score is? Um, how much money do you make? How much debt do you have? How much money do you take in every month? How much do you have in expenses? And they don't verify any of this information until they actually go through the approval process. And then that real estate agent, that buyer, and that seller, and that listing agent, they're, everybody's wasting their time on that buyer only to find out that they can only afford 200000 instead of 375000 because they didn't disclose to that lender during that pre-approval process that um, sure enough, they had all this other credit card debt, they're delinquent on this bill, they're delinquent on that, their credit score is down the tubes, it's 550, and ultimately they just cannot afford your property. So there's a lot of people that waste time, a lot of inexperienced real estate agents that don't know what they're doing as well. But the next thing is you don't know what type of buyer you're dealing with, and a lot of times they're represented by another real estate agent. And a lot of people are not necessarily the most ethical. So what happens and we see a lot is a buyer will get in your property in contract and then they're still shopping. They have their due diligence period with you. Maybe it's 15 days or 20 days or 30 days. Meanwhile, they're still out looking at other properties because they're on the MLS drips and they bought your property, but they compromised. They, they didn't get everything that they wanted, so they're still keeping their eyes on other properties. <clears throat> and then eventually they'll go and lock in another property. They'll come back to you guys, send a release and cancellation, and say, oh, you know, the property is just not for us, or there's is too much work, or whatever the case is, and they back out of that contract. So you don't know the type of uh, buyer you're gonna get if you guys list your property. Um, <clears throat> Now, I need to tread lightly on this one, but you could be listing your home with an incompetent agent. And look, I've uh, worked with literally thousands of real estate agents. I uh, grew our real estate brokerage internally here to over 60 agents. I've coached and trained hundreds of agents. And then I even went as far as creating online courses for real estate agents. We have well over 5,000 students on how to properly train real estate agents. And uh, unfortunately, I've dealt with a lot of bad agents. I've dealt with a lot of good agents as well, but I've dealt with some bad real estate agents and you just don't know what you're gonna get. And um, you know, so I think it's very important if you do end up listing your home that you pay close attention to um, the references, referrals, you know, do your research on that agent. And lastly, your home could require a cash out offer depending on the condition of the property. And uh, so you might weed out a lot of potential buyers if they can't get financing because of the property. And uh, we are cash buyers on any properties throughout Southwest Florida. And again, if you guys have interest in us taking a look at your property. Again, the description below has got the link where you guys can fill out some simple information. We'll meet with you guys and uh, get an offer to you guys as quickly as possible. And thanks a lot for watching.